Hello folks, this is Jamil Surfer at Gunstock Reviews. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona at the Ben Avery Shooting Facility with Freddie Blish. How are you doing, Freddie? Hey, Jamil. Today we're going to continue our series on dry practice. And today we're going to talk about trigger control. Absolutely. One of the things that m most shooters uh, struggle with the most is trigger control. Now, there, there's parts of grip and stance that all play factors in it, but controlling the trigger smoothly to the rear without moving the sights, that's the secret to shooting. Yeah. That's all it is. Controlling the trigger smoothly to the rear, pressing it smoothly to the rear without moving the sights. And where tr shooters often have the most difficulty with is understanding you know, their trigger and how to move it smoothly to the rear. So we've got a couple of drills that you'll want to include in your dry practice. So the first thing I need to do is face down range, clear my pistol, make sure that I have a condition for pistol, because uh, all guns are always loaded. I want to make sure that I have a condition for pistol. And then we'll demonstrate the first uh, technique that you'll want to practice when you do your dry practice. Okay, no round in the chamber, and Clear. no magazine in the magazine well. All right, so the first drill that I like to show shooters and have them do when they're first learning their pistol is to watch as they press the trigger smoothly to the rear and feel the slack being taken up, feel when they hit that wall, if you will, and then where it breaks. Then what they'll do is they'll continue to press that trigger rack the slide, then allow their finger to feel it where it resets. Yep. And then they just repeat it again. And they do that 10 times, so that way they can begin to feel when that trigger is gonna break during the trigger cycle process. That's great. Okay, now that we've done that, let's talk about putting brass on top of our front sight and then pressing that trigger to the rear without moving our sights, hence the brass falling off the front sight. Now, with a fiber optic front sight, you, nine mil, unfortunately, won't work. It's just no, the, the gap is just too big. Yeah, the gap is too big. Too big. And, and it's not flat enough. You right. can spend minutes there trying to, it you won't, know, won't it was going to fall off. It won't work. So that's where uh, using God's caliber, the 45, and I say that in jest. Uh, there you go. But there it is, right there. So now we can use that. So if you'll hold, I'm gonna, okay. we'll demonstrate this. So now what I'm gonna do is aim in at a target, and then Jamil will put the brass on the front sight, and I am aimed in, and I'm gonna press that trigger, so that way when it does, yep. uh, when, the, when the hammer falls or the trigger uh, breaks, the brass didn't fall off. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Yeah, the brass will eventually fall off when you move the pistol, but not while you're, yeah. Yeah, and it, you wanna do that 10 times. Now, sometimes you may not have a partner, so that's where like you can do it yourself or you can use a, a penny or, or uh, a dime and you put it on there and then you just very carefully bring it up, aim in, and then just very carefully bring it back and you can remove it and reset it yourself. Again, your goal is to do this 10 times without the brass or the penny falling off the front sight. If you have a friend and you're both practicing together, you could dry practice together doing this drill where you do it 10 times and then you switch and then your partner does it 10 times and you work together on improving your trigger control. Well, Freddie, thanks for all the valuable information on restart trigger reset and just trigger control that was very informative and it's great to know that information for your dry practice absolutely and one of the things i want to emphasize is that when you do the brass on front side drill you're still wanting that good stance whether you use an isosceles or a weaver or a modification it's irrelevant you want a good grip good stance you know good sight alignment you're focusing on the front sight you know good sight pitcher you're pressing that trigger smoothly to the rear, you're breathing, you're following through, all the things that you're supposed to do, all those fundamentals are all the same, but now we're just doing it with dry practice and we're really focusing on pressing that trigger smoothly to the rear without moving the sights. And if you move the sights, the brass or that penny on the front sight won't lie. 
Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the best way. If you're jerking that trigger, that penny or that piece of brass is gonna fall it's off. It's gonna fall off. Well, great. Thanks, Freddie, for information. Thanks, Phil. And guys, like always, thanks for watching. Remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range.